I don't know, I think we've got more of a rustic, kind of the old school. I get a lot of people say, this is what Texas barbecue should be. Here you go, sir. Oh, outside. Yeah, this is my first time out here, and it was well worth the trip. I enjoy finding like hole in the wall barbecue places and um, wanted to check it out. Welcome to Gessner's Grub. Thank you very much. My dad was a, a mechanic and after school, I used to go up and work for him just for stay out of trouble more than anything, I guess. You know, put a little change in my pocket. It's just been a passion of mine. I, I've done it for a long time. I started out of my garage. I opened Phil's Auto Service in, in 2008 here in this location on Melda Road. I like cars and I like food. And uh, so I had a little extra money and I went ahead and bought a new smoker for the house. I did a customer appreciation for the Phil's Auto Service customers uh, because they'd been very good to me, so I wanted to give back. So I cooked a bunch of briskets one Friday night and all day Saturday morning. And they all told me that, man, if you did this regularly, we'd buy this. And I'm like, are you serious? And they said, oh yeah, we'd buy, this is great. This side of the building, we weren't using it. This space was open, the landlord had just put a brand new cover on, and it was just a beautiful empty space with nothing going on. We opened in November 19, and it's just been kind of a crazy ride since then. It's and we're in Texas, so the brisket sells more than anything. We use nothing but USDA prime brisket. I use uh, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, and that's it. My yardstick is the brisket. I'm not that worried about temperature. I'm more worried about how the bark looks. When the, it's nice and crusty and there's a little bit of crunchy on the outside and it's got that nice, rich mahogany or even deeper color to it, you're almost done. You're ready to rest it. And then the resting does the rest of it for you. The flavor on the crust of it was just right. And it, w it seemed like it had been smoked uh, nice and slow. The ribs are kind of a rip on a pork chop recipe as far as the seasoning. And, and we use an apple bourbon glaze. You know, we've added a few sandwiches. We've got a stuffed smoked cheeseburger. We've got a brisket grilled cheese. The brisket grilled cheese, really impressed by it. Thought it was really good. Had a good, had good smoke ring about it. And I thought it had a good, good flavor to it. And that just all kind of comes off a play of, what am I going to do with this brisket that I didn't sell? What can I do with it? And uh, that's where the breakfast tacos came from. The food is great. Very good. I give it an A plus. It's really fantastic. It's just absolutely amazing to go from a hobby to being one of the highest rated barbecue places around and being compared to really established places around, it's amazing to even be considered in the same realm as them. No matter how good somebody is a customer in the auto shop, they don't want to come in and spend a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars on their car. You know, it, no matter how good a mood they're in, they're still not happy to see you. Here, everybody's happy to come in. Nobody's ever in a bad mood. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I've said that a bad day out here is way better than a good day inside the auto shop. <laughs>